Okay, this is my pledge for 2015, I suppose. Um, we're in La Mata at the moment, in Spain, and this year I want to have a nice three-bedroom apartment by the beach or a villa. Um, they're about the same price, to be honest. Um, I'm looking about 90,000 euros, and I'll be honest with you, I can do this, but I want to... The reason I'm doing this as a pledge because I want to show you that it's possible for most people. I've done a lot of stuff people cannot do. They, they, they just accept they cannot do it rather than think, how the hell am I going to do it? First thing is, um, the Philippines still cost me money at the moment. Um, that's going to stop very soon because apartment one is completed and we've already got people we were booked in last month we've got people arriving today and we've got people booking in for the next three weeks after that that'll start to tick over apartment two is nearly finished i've just sent money for doing that as well so apartment one and two in the philippines will start to generate a regular income once that income comes in they'll finish the windows on my second building on this uh first floor which then means I can move everything out of my office space and move everything out of apartment three, which would be apartment two on the same block as one and two, because one and two, you got the Zoe building, where it's one and two, and then you got the other building, where it's one, two, three. So it's a bit confusing, but basically the, the upper apartment of apartment one will then become available for rent, and then the apartment next to apartment one on the other block then become available for rent because everything that's in those apartments would move to the three uh, bedroom apartment above the second block all oh, confusing well the fact is if we've got three apartments rented out in the philippines i need to send nothing it actually starts to make a profit now the reason i'm bringing this in is because at the moment it swallows up some paypal capital I make money on PayPal every month. I make about six hundred to a thousand dollars a month on PayPal. Um, that doesn't include AdSense. AdSense brings in about a hundred dollars a month, somewhere between forty and a hundred dollars a month. Um, well, minimum is forty. Bad month is forty. Um, so I've got this extra income, and once that starts ticking over, that's about thousand dollars a month I've got spare. If we can get all three apartments right now in the Philippines, I can actually start to accumulate money in the Philippines separately. But more importantly, I want to release the PayPal income. If we can get $1,000 a month spare on PayPal, that gives me $12,000 a year towards the 90,000 euros. On top of that, I've got a guide that I need to write, We're nearly finished, for uh, starting a business in Spain starting a real estate agency in Spain, how to get residency in Spain, uh, how to get kids into school, how to do your medical documents for Spain. Each one of these will be small amounts, but they will add up over a period of time. Because uh, I put it fully automated. You know, a lot of people assume you sit there and wait for somebody to go, I'm buying this, then you go, okay, I'll email it to you. <laughs> you don't, it's fully automatic. That's where this thousand dollars a month comes through on PayPal because there's other documents that I do. Um, they're just fully automated. You do, you write them once and then just leave it. So that ticks over. Do, 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 do. So that's the first twelve thousand. I need ninety thousand. I think dollars about the same as a euro at the moment. So I still got to reach um, the ninety thousand. So we got another eighty-eight thousand on top of that. Out of the eighty-eight thousand, um, the reason I chose Spain is the cost of living in Spain costs a family for about seven hundred pounds a month. That releases me after I take flights out about another thousand, so it's about another fifteen hundred euros a month spare, um, which gives us another fifteen. 18, 18,000. So that's 18, 20, that's my first 30,000 euros. And it's still January. Um, and the reason I want to say this is not because I'm saying, oh, this is like this or this. The fact is, this is how you do it. This is what separates rich from poor. 
I'm not getting a mortgage. I'm finding that 90,000 that I need. Um, I've already found the first 30,000 if I change nothing. I need to find another 60,000. And the average person will say, no, I can't do that. I can't find that. I mean, you know, it's that they, they're already not only giving in, but they're like, I can't do that. But the reality is, if you think I need 90,000, you will find it. And I'm not joking, there's um, always, way to do, always ways to do it. And you watched that video I did before about earning a pound a day. This is how this works. Is yeah, I start by looking at right I found 30,000 how to find another pound how do I find another two pounds how am I another another three is there any other ways to make extra money on the side is there other ways to do that it's like my wife um, bought these scarves the other day um, the magic scarves you can like they're a scarf but they can go in a shawl they can wear them as a um, dress boom there, there is money in those. Even if it's a euro a piece profit, doesn't matter. The goal is sixty thousand euros on top of everything else I just put. So every euro reduces that sixty thousand. Isn't it nice when you, uh, even at one euro, it takes it from sixty thousand to fifty nine 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 nine. because that's how shops look at you when you go shopping <laughs> and if you do it in reverse like this this is how you get ahead in life I just want to share this because I'm aiming for that nice villa or a beach three bedroom beach house uh, beach apartment by the end of this year and I just want to show you where my first 30,000 euros for it come from thanks for watching